for young children at risk of developmental delays, the government aims to strengthen early detection and intervention to maximise their developmental potential. MSF is piloting the development of a continuum of early intervention services with varying intensities to better meet the different needs of our children over time. We hope that early intervention will give our children a good start as they progress to formal education. Currently, there are 31,000 students with special educational needs, with 80% of them in mainstream schools and another 20% in our SPED schools. As we support our students, we recognize the need to change the narrative in our society. We want to celebrate our children to focus on their abilities, not disabilities. We want to work towards a society where we do not just accept but embrace those who are differently able. We want to see this cultural change in our schools, both SPAT and mainstream. However, we must pace this change. The sense of welcome that we want to achieve has to be developed and achieved over time and with sustained effort. We need everyone to commit to this, teachers, schools, parents, the public, employers, and the wider society. Likewise, we have to teach our children with special educational needs to be advocates for themselves. They must learn how to communicate their needs to friends, co-workers, and employers, and to be confident contributors to our society. In our schools, we must teach our students to be empathetic and accepting of people who are differently able, who learn at a different pace, and who come from different family backgrounds. From the stories I have shared with you today, it is heartening to see that we are building students of character. While we are continuously improving the affordability, accessibility, and quality of educational support provisions to students as adults in the world of work and society, we must be sensitive to the needs of every Singaporean. We must welcome and support them, regardless of their background and starting point in life. In other words, where we begin in life will not detect where we end up. Only then can we call ourselves a truly inclusive nation. Thank you.